Uh, I've done quite a few courses on NFPA 70E, and whenever I'm within the first 20 or 30 minutes of the class, I always ask a question of the students. Has anybody here in class ever experienced an electric arc flash? In every class that I've ever taught, I have at least one hand go up, and typically about a third of the room, the people raise their hand. And let's talk about electric arcs. An electric arc, think of an electric arc as this. An electric arc is a short circuit through the air. You have two conductors, and let's say you have an uninsulated tool or a wrench and you cross the phases, you ionize the air, and that electricity jumps the air gap. And what happens is electricity is not designed to travel through the air, and when you have an electric arc, you have a blast component, and that's where you can actually have fragments and shrapnel coming back at you, and then the flash component, that's going to be the fire component. The big concern with the fire component is if you're not wearing proper arc-rated clothing, that can easily ignite your clothing. Every day in the United States, we have at least five and sometimes 10 workers hospitalized due to electric arc flash burns.